Today we're making my take on the KFC Go Bucket. Start off by peeling your potatoes and cutting them into chips. Chuck them into a freezer bag and microwave for about 5 minutes or until soft. Tip the microwave potatoes onto a tray lined with paper towel. Cut up your chicken breast into small cubes. Fill up a bowl with panko breadcrumbs. And in the second bowl make an egg wash out of 2 eggs and some milk. Chuck your chicken breast into a freezer bag, add some flour and give it a good shake. Dust off the flour and chuck it in the egg mixture. Then chuck it into the breadcrumbs and coat all over. Chuck your chips into a preheated deep fryer at 190 degrees Celsius. Now it's time to cook the chicken. Add your mini popcorn chicken to a fry pan with some vegetable oil and cook until golden brown on every side. Drain your chips when golden brown. Season your chips with chicken salt and now it's time to dish up. And there you have your very own KFC Go Bucket. Are you using box mix for your pancake? We're gonna make pancakes the old school way. Look, all right, two cups of flour. Half a teaspoon of salt. One tablespoon of baking soda. One tablespoon of sugar. Just give it a little whisk. Two eggs. Whiskey business part two. One and a half cups of milk. Your two eggs. One tablespoon of vegetable oil. Mix, but be kind to it. We wanna keep those air bubbles. That looks like a pancake batter if I ever seen one. Non-stick skillet, yes, I know it's scratched. Butter in medium heat. Just enough for a thin layer on the bottom of that pan. Wait for the pan to get hot. Apparently I lost my ladle, you can also use a measuring cup. Once your pan is hot, scoop and ladle onto your pan. Cook two to three minutes. Flip, flip them all, and then two to three more minutes. I just really hope The Rock would be proud of this. Classic butter pat. Yes, sir. Now when I do breakfast, I do it pancake style. Today we're making fluffy pancakes. To start, we're gonna need two egg yolks. One tablespoon sugar, and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one third cup flour, a teaspoon vanilla extract, three tablespoons milk, one quarter teaspoon of salt, whisk. Beat four egg whites. As it starts to get foamy, add about three tablespoons of sugar. Gradually add your egg whites into the bowl. Add some oil to your pan on low heat. Spoon in your mixture. Cover for five minutes. Flip. Cover and cook for another five minutes. And that's how you make fluffy pancakes. Okay, this is the fastest way to bake the cake. Get some flour, throw in some chocolate, and, and chocolate cake. One cup of brown sugar, one cup of peanut butter, one large egg, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a cup of chocolate chips. Mix it all together. Divide into 12 and place on a prepared baking sheet at 350 for 8 to 10 minutes. Boom. <laughs> Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back memories Bring back you Tip 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 Memories bring back memories bring back you There's a time when I remember When I did not know no pain When I be living forever And everything will stay the same now my heart feel like December When somebody say your name And I can't reach out to 
amazing giant cookie in this skillet. You just want to start by greasing the skillet with butter or non-stick spray or something like that. If you don't have a skillet, you can also use like an oven-proof dish. And now we're going to add in 120 grams of butter to a large bowl with 75 grams of light brown sugar and 75 grams of caster sugar. You just want to give that a good mix together. Then you want to add in one egg plus one egg yolk, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, then just give it another mix. Then you want to add in 160 grams of plain flour and half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, a pinch of salt, give that a good mix, and then go in with 125 grams of roughly chopped dark chocolate. But you can also use like milk chocolate and then just give it a final mix. You want to pour your cookie mixture into the skillet or the dish that you're using. Spread it around so it's nice and even. And then we're going to cook this for 15 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. So it cooks the outside and the inside still nice and gooey. If it's still got movement, it's going to be nice and gooey on the inside. There you go. So you've got the ice cream. I'm just going to go in with some chocolate sauce. Oh my God. I'll give you guys a closer look. There you go. And that's how you make the most amazing cookie skillet. 